So what do you want to do? He thought and wondered what his next option would be. The decisions that he had made earlier in his life began <laughs> began <laughs> began to come back and haunt every, him. Every decision, every decision you make leads to consequences later. Just remember that, guys. He said to himself. <laughs> it was Robert's idea. Just pass the blame to somebody else. Same seems to work in Congress. We are placing these angle iron brackets. Let me know when you're ready. Mm -hmm. We are placing these angle iron brackets in the on the trailer to keep the tanks from sliding around. What I'm doing right now is I'm fixing the drill the pilot hole we're using half inch bolts and uh, according to the internet you're supposed to drill a 29 64th pilot hole for a half inch bit i got a new set of bits for christmas and i'm trying to make them last longer <laughs> They're Dewalt bits, and so far they seem to be pretty good bits. They're, uh, I don't know what they call them. They call them black and golds. Got a split point. They don't walk on you. They've done a real good job so far. I ain't used to put the 29 64s in the half inch. We've been using cutting oil on them, trying to make them last long. Grr. If you have a service truck and don't have a vice on it, I highly recommend it. See, I got them two pieces sandwiched together there. I'll show you why we're doing that in a uh, minute or two. Let's go out here to the water trailer and take a look and see what's going on. Son of a nutcracker. This one's going to be right up between that darn toolbox. Can you get your hand in there? And I picked the worst time of day to do this because of the darn sun. This goes right here, like this, and it keeps the tank from doing this, and it keeps the tank from doing that. You don't want them plumb on the tank because you don't want your tank to, don't want to rub a hole in your tank, and you don't want to. Uh, 
that tank's going to expand some when you fill it up too. And the bracket Robert got will go under the bottom. And that sandwich is that wood. I press the weight over that more of that wood instead of just uh, instead of two little bolts holding it. And when we get to the other side, I'll show you that. I waited to the worst possible time, terrible time of day to film. Now this right here is what I was telling y'all about. Last night it was getting dark, so I don't know how much you was able to see. But these are just some angle iron brackets. They're approximately 10 inches long. Um, I don't have them right on the tank because I don't want to rub it on my tank. And when you fill this tank up, it'll expand and settle too. But these are just to keep, hopefully to keep the tanks from sliding. <clears throat> and yes, I know the comment section probably gonna light up vertical tanks aren't really made for transport but there's guys around here that's been using them and having good luck with them I wanted I really wanted black tanks for my trailer but the black tanks wasn't rated for liquid nitrogen and I thought if uh, we was gonna be hauling liquid nitrogen we better get the tanks rated for them but we've got four of these around here. Uh, we're gonna test test that out. We may go on and put a fifth and a sixth one on there depending on how it does, but we're gonna test the waters first. We got each tank double strapped, crisscrossed across the top. And, uh, but this is, uh, that's what I wanted to show you and the thing we didn't get to show you last night is we put these um, we put this strap under the bottom too to help and my thinking was we'll have that weight spread over both of them boards together instead of just one bolt two little spots holding you got a wider area holding and uh, in the future if it does give trouble i can get right here between my cross members clean that up and put a piece of plate in there and bolt it to the plate but <clears throat> i mean you got the wood holding and you got the steel floor holding no, i think we'll be all right this one is not as nice and neat looking we had to Bands that toolbox was in the way it was easier to run the bolts up from the bottom and that's that this right here i really would have liked to had another 1500 gallon tank but uh i had those 1500 gallon tanks was 1600 dollars a piece and i had this 750 gallon tank from uh, another project so may not hold as much but you can't beat what you already have when you're not having to buy, buy, uh, spend more money out of your pocket this will give us a total of 3750 gallons uh, this is a 750 gallon tank and our sprayer hosts exactly 750 gallons so um, we can hold one, that tank will hold one full fill up on the sprayer. So we ought to be in good shape there. This box here, I think, is where we're going to keep a few odds and ends or measuring cups and things like that, adapters, uh, and so on and so forth. So. Let's get started on putting this trailer together. 
What y'all think about my method of uh, doing my straps there? Everybody's got their opinion on what you're supposed to do with the slack. Gotta use, gotta use my square. Robert got mad and broke my other tape measure. Looks like I am at ten and a quarter. All right, come away. Eight and a quarter. I'm at nine. Mine go that way a little bit due to the to make the valve work. Say that's probably it. What? I'm at nine and a half. Let me see how my valve looks. How you doing, corn dog? Tell us what you got going on here. Saw chick calling on Godzilla here. What's Godzilla doing? Fight them to a D. Mm-hmm. And that not the Godzilla. Mega Godzilla. Right. And then he tell on a certain rat. Mm-hmm. Who's that guy? The lots of rap now. And in the air with a kill fit. And we had another project come in <laughs> today or yesterday. This is a front end loader here. It's uh it's supposed to go on the 4230. Got a got a little bucket on it daddy's wanting it to, uh we're wanting to put a hay fork on it and i'm wanting to get a set of pallet forks for it well guys this was going to be a sprayer trailer video but it looks like it's going to turn into an equipment moving video <laughs> they calling how much snow are they calling for i don't know a dust into a foot somewhere between a dust into a foot of snow they're calling for so we're trying to get everything that needs to be worked on in the shed where it'll be warm while we work on it. And that includes the track hole. We gotta make an exhaust pipe for it. Change a couple of filters. We got a harness that got unplugged. We may make us a cover for the bottom of the engine. It's supposed to have one on it, but it is not there. So, I'm gonna unload this track hole and back it in the shop and then we're going back to water trailer in the shop.
something I've never done on a on a water trailer. I bought a high dollar pump or the highest pump I've ever bought. This is a John John Blue pump. It's got a wet it's got a wet seal right here. This is where and you're supposed to be able to run it dry which we don't want to run it dry but sometimes crap happens. Uh, the seal runs right in here and this is full. You use a 50-50 antifreeze mix and that what keeps you seal lubricated. This is a 160cc Honda pump. I've had a generic a generic Honda on a water trailer before, but I've never had a name brand Honda. That's the best way I found to do these fittings so that they don't leak. It's just RTV silicone and Teflon tape. Cause that liquid nitrogen, if it can leak, it will leak. It will uh, find a way. Bingo. Went on and bought a whole hundred foot of line for this uh, project. Co-op told us we could bring back what we don't use. But uh, those hose barbs you see there, we're using flanged fittings on this part of the project. There's a clamp that holds it together and an O-ring in this way. We need to remove a tank to work on it or something. We can just take that piece of pipe, piece of hose out without having to unscrew stuff or to worry about pulling it off of a hose barb. We started using these flange fittings, uh, what, about a year and a half ago? Mm -hmm. And we, I think, We've been converting a lot more stuff to them because if you got to take something apart to work on it, it's just so much easier. I think Robert's liking this new trailer. <laughs> he he's the water hauler most of the time, and I run the run the sprayer, so I think he's been looking forward to. Uh, getting a bigger trailer we went on and set our roundup up there there's a small fortune sitting right there i actually bought that back in the summer so that was a good financial decision i think that was like 30 dollars a gallon versus it's 60 now so made one good financial decision anyways but we went on there and went on and set them up there for one reason, to free up room in the shop. They were sitting right there in front of that little bulk bag of beans. We was unsure about where to put the mixing cone and by putting them there, we was able to see if our hoses would reach to the mixing cone. This trailer is fixing to go right here in this hole in front of the combine. But for right now, I don't I don't know what we're fixing to do. I think so you'll have to tighten him back up just a little. This is our uh, It's gonna be where we fill up with water. And uh we made some 
I guess you'd call them brackets. Some little, uh, some little uh, deals there to hold this valve steady. We're gonna have, uh, we're gonna elbow down here, and then we're gonna have this, uh, have this quick fill on it. And uh, when you do that, you'll be able to fill all three of these tanks. From right here, we're gonna put a shut off valve right here to keep water from going down there to the pump to keep from pushing water through the pump when uh, when we're filling up. But I think, uh, I think it's gonna be pretty nice. We almost forgot about this when we was putting it together. Uh, we started stringing through there and it was going so good and we was about to head down there. We was about to head down there towards the pump. And uh, we just happened to remember. I'm trying to lay this out as simple as possible. Everything in a straight, straight line down there to the end, and we got our hose reel on the back that way. I think we're gonna put somewhere around 30 foot of hose on it, maybe. May just depend on how much of that roll we got left of uh, hose, but uh, with that hose reel on the end, we should be able to fill on either side of the trailer, and this pump. I wanted to, you'll, you'll have to crank it from up there, but uh, I wanted to be able, uh, most of the time we pull the sprayer up to the front. Uh, so I wanted to be able to see the sprayer and turn the pump off from the ground.